Yes, sir. What's your name? Philip. Hey, Philip. Um, you had previously stated that Stephen Hawking had his own belief about the creation of the universe, but you said that he failed. Yes. Uh, what exactly was it, and why was it incorrect? Stephen Hawking, on about page 180 of his book, The Grand Design, says this. Because there's a law like gravity, the universe can and will create itself out of nothing. Now, I want you to think about that for a second. Because there's a law like gravity, first of all, where do laws come from? They come from lawgivers. And so gravity is not nothing. Gravity is something. And gravity, it seems, only exists when there is a creation, when there is space, time, and matter. So Hawking wants to have gravity before the universe begins. But gravity would only seem to exist in the space-time continuum. So he's trying to have a creation before he has a creation. Secondly, gravity can't create anything. Gravity just does the same thing over and over again. It's not a personal force. Like, for example, if I keep dropping this remote, gravity isn't sitting there thinking, if Turk drops that remote one more time, I'm not going to pull it to the ground, right? <laughs> gravity just does the same thing over and over again. It can't choose to create. So even if gravity did exist, there's no way gravity could create a universe because gravity is not a personal force that can make a choice. It just does the same thing over and over again. This is why John Lennox, who is an Oxford mathematician, uh, wrote a book on Stephen Hawking. And in the book says, even when, he says, when brilliant scientists say nonsense, it's still nonsense. <laughs> and what Hawking says is nonsense with regard to gravity creating anything. All right?